Hello! In this brief video we're going to go over a few things inside of Remind. We're going to look at the different settings that you can change within your account and then within those settings how to play, do things like place calls in Remind and also connect apps like Google Classroom to your Remind account. So let's start by accessing your account by clicking on your name or your signature in the upper left hand side and then choosing account. These are the different sections that we'll briefly hit on in this video. We're going to start here in profile. Obviously you can change the picture that people see when they join a class of yours and also you can change the signature that they see when uh, they join a class as well. But the big thing inside a profile is setting your office hours or setting the dates and times or the days and times that people can access you. When somebody tries to contact you outside those office hours they'll get a message saying that they're trying to contact you outside of office hours and you'll get back to them within your office hours. Underneath that we find the schools that you're associated with the classes that you own, notice that you can create new classes here as well, and the classes that you've joined. Again, you can join a new class here too. Underneath profile, you can change some basic information in your account. You can obviously change your name, and then you can also reset your password is another big thing inside of this part. There's a lot to the communication section of Remind. The first thing is the different ways that you can receive notifications when somebody tries to contact you through the app. This first part is the app itself. Somebody that this My Remind account is connected to the app. I can also say I want to receive text messages to this number anytime someone tries to contact me. Or email notifications every time someone tries to contact me through Remind. And finally, I can get desktop notifications or a notification that flies across the upper right hand side of your screen when you turn this on. Finally, we're going to take a second to talk about call preferences. You can receive and send calls through the Remind app. And I'm going to show you that in just a second. You just have to have these two buttons uh, checked. And then when you're inside of Remind, you'll notice that in this class, Jeff is the teacher. I can place a call to him. And so when I click on this button, what happens is it actually places a call to me first, and I get an automated message saying, if you'd like to go ahead and place the call, press 1. When I hit that, it will then call Jeff, but it will, uh, it will create a fake number. And that the, uh, when they answer the when they answer the call, then you can have the conversation. But they only get that fake number. No numbers are exchanged uh, during a call inside of Remind. After I place that call, I get something like this: You called Jeff Kresge, and if I wanted to, I could take notes on the subjects that we hit during that call, just so I can have those for later. If we go back into accounts. and communication. We can also set message, message options. Whether or not you'd like people to be able to reply to your messages uh, when you send something out to an entire group or individuals. Let's look at connected services quickly. They right now, uh, Remind right now only allows for four connected services or four apps that you can connect to uh, your Remind classes. And so I've chosen to add Google Classroom and Google Drive to mine, and I'll show you that in a second. But if you want to add a connected service like Quizlet, all you need to do is hover over Quizlet, click Connect, and then it'll ask you for your account info, and it will connect Remind to that account. So in the instance that you are creating a message, so if I go to this class, and I want to create a message that adds a Google um, Classroom assignment to it, what I do is I edit the message. I want to send it to everyone. Click continue. And then after a brief message I can connect a Google Classroom assignment. And all that does is it will list all your assignments over on the right hand side. And if you choose one it will create a link to that assignment. You hit send. It will go out to everyone in your class. Realizing though that parents don't have a um, a JPS Google account, so this is more for middle or high school teachers that um, want to send a Google a link to a Google Classroom assignment, and then they can log into their account from there. So, let me cancel this out. And go back into accounts. Under widgets. 
Uh, this is really uh, if you were going to rem if in your new website, for example, if you had a web page for every single class, uh, and you wanted to embed that class's remind messages into that page, you could do that. You would copy this and paste it into your um, the embed code app in your new uh, in the new website, and then all the messages that you send would just stream right to the website. Download records is an important one, uh, especially if you want to keep track of. Um, all of the uh, contact that you've had with parents. So under announcements you can export, um, you can create a PDF of all the announcements that you've sent. So if that's something that you have to keep track of for your school or uh, you're accountable for for your own school, you just choose the classes or choose the members inside the class and the dates, hit export and then a new page will pop up. A new page will pop up where they generate, it takes a few minutes to generate a um, uh, generates a PDF for you. You can block users inside a Remind and then you can uh, also view and organize your classes. Obviously I only have one uh, so it's not much organizing here uh, and that's about it inside of accounts. If you have questions on accounts or messaging or just an overview of Remind please make sure to contact any of the coaches. Thanks!